Starship passes more gas than the local government approves. Falcon 9 shows her how to really rip it. SpaceX Matchbox toys are coming to a toy box near you. And we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. On Tuesday afternoon, the B7.1 test tank was put through its paces under the can crusher for a second time following its maiden test at the end of June, and then repeated for a third time Thursday afternoon. This test simulates external pressure exerted on the new design improvements during flight, and once again appears to have survived, although slight buckling was observed. Then the following day, Starship 24 conducted its second overall spin prime test, first using its Center 3 Sea Level Raptor 2s as it had done previously, but followed closely by the three outer vacuums, and an hour later repeated the spin-ups. Thursday, two more spin prime tests were performed, but only with a single engine for the first and two engines for the second. These tests precede static fire campaigns to make sure everything is working as expected with the new engines before they light them up. Things didn't go so well for Booster 7's spin prime test last week, but a few engines already arrived on site to replace the ones that were shipped out. Meanwhile, local SpaceX crews were seen loading Starlink 2 satellites into the Starlink loading machine in preparation for Starship's first orbital flight and Cameron County Commissioners have publicly backed the company's efforts in the area, citing 20 reasons they voted in favor of a resolution supporting SpaceX activities in Boca Chica and abandoning parts of four local roads around the lands they own. One reason being the roads aren't necessary for local property owners, and the county hasn't spent any money repairing them in over a decade anyway. But they also supported the resolution because SpaceX has generated over 6,000 jobs across the county and will continue to pump hundreds of millions into the local economy. Another contributing factor was the FAA's finding of no significant impact during the recent programmatic environmental assessment. But of course, none of that stopped the local woke mind virus zombies from calling the decision, quote, absolutely abhorrent, unfair, and of course, inequitable. But uh, that's far left ideology for you. Progress means everyone's outcome is equal, even if everyone suffers under abject poverty and desolation. After yesterday's scrub of SpaceX's Starlink mission to pull her orbital shell 3 from Vandenberg Space Force Base, the company was successful at lifting her fat ass off the pad just moments ago. At T minus 46 seconds, the vehicle identified an off nominal reading from one of our Merlin M1D engines. The flight computer saw an out of limits reading on a backup valve position within the first stage propulsion system, and this reading caused an automatic hold on the countdown. Since then, the teams investigated, resolved the issue, and we are now go for launch. And despite the delay, this was the fastest turnaround for Falcon 9 at Slick 4 East, allowing a rocket to lift off just 11 and a half days after its previous Starlink mission, which itself set a personal best, but today's flight beat out the previous record by half the time. And the booster made its fourth landing on Of Course I Still Love You on the Pacific. Stage one landing confirmed. NASA announced this week that they have awarded SpaceX the Launch Services contract for the Roman Space Telescope, a piece of equipment that will investigate dark energy, dark matter, and exoplanet exploration. Worth $255 million, the mission is targeting October 2026 to ride on top of a Falcon Heavy rocket. The agency also revealed the Crew-5 mission, the first to host a cosmonaut, was pushed to no earlier than September 29th after its brand spanking new booster sustained damage during transport from Hawthorne to McGregor. But undoubtedly, the news to excite you nerds the most is that Mattel announced their agreement with SpaceX to create and sell SpaceX-inspired toys under its Matchbox brand, to be released next year. Quote, at SpaceX, we believe that a future in which humanity is out among the stars is fundamentally more exciting than one in which we are not, said Vice President Brian. We look forward to working with Mattel to help inspire the next generation of space explorers and enthusiasts. You know, they may have left us high and dry, not to mention me personally hundreds of thousands of dollars out of luck after we put the first SpaceX builds over 10,000 votes on LEGO ideas, but at least we'll get more of this. But now it's time for today's honorable mention. On the 53rd anniversary of Apollo 11's moon landing, NASA announced they had set a few target dates for the first uncrewed trip back to the natural satellite using their brand new and fully non-reusable SLS rocket. So we have placeholders on the range uh, for August 29th, September 2nd, and September 5th. Artemis 1 will see to it that Lockheed Martin's Orion capsule enters the moon's gravity and stays in orbit for up to six weeks before splashing down off the San Diegan coast. 
The vehicle recently underwent its fourth wet dress rehearsal down at the Cape where it encountered a few technical issues, like a loose fitting on the liquid hydrogen umbilical where it connects to the rocket, but have since been dealt with. Well, that's it for this one, but it was good seeing you. Friendly not of respect to you locals members supporting these videos. And do have a nominal weekend. Until next time, Godspeed.